Hello, everybody. Do you want to meet my cat, Oscar? Say hello. <coughs> Meh. Well, that's not a hello. I guess he doesn't want to be in the video. We'll try again another time. Okay. Well, anyway, what are we doing today? Today, we're going to play a fun drawing game that, uh, you know, I kind of thought I invented when I was a kid, but since then I've run into other people who've played similar games, so either it was a simultaneous invention or uh, my parents heard about it somewhere and just told me about it. But uh, basically the game's called Squiggles, and I make a squiggle, and you make a drawing out of that squiggle, and then when you're done you make a squiggle, and then I have to figure out how to make a drawing out of that. So, it's something you can play on long car trips, Something you can play when you're bored around the house and it's time to turn off the TV and do something on paper. It's great if you have a sibling or a parent that you can bug to do a little drawing with you. It's also great if you can't think of anything to draw. It gives you a squiggle, gives you a starting point. You could even ask your parent to make you a whole sheet of squiggles and then you could make each one into a different picture. So, the best way to start is with an ordinary piece of paper and then folding it up into quadrants. So now we have four equal spaces on which to draw. So I'll go over the folding and we'll even do a sample of drawing. And even I have a couple of squiggles that my kids made for me that I have not looked at yet. And I will have to turn these squiggles into drawings. And uh, we'll see if maybe I can even pass back and forth with my daughter and see if she'll draw. Uh, the squeals that I make. All right, let's get to it. Here we have our sheet of paper. And before we start creasing, we line up those corners. Line, line, line. I mean, for this game, it doesn't have to be super perfect, but it's an opportunity to work on our folding skills. Hold, hold, now fold. Hold and fold. First you hold, then you fold. York, like that. And to do our other fold, we could do up the middle or we could open it up again. And do it the long ways. Sometimes we have to fold this way. Neep, 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 neep. Line up that corner. Line up that corner. All right, what do you think? Is this too bright, kids? Is this too bright? Do we need to darken it a little? Dark. Darker better. We got this big white sheet of paper. It's really glaring in the camera. Okay. Hopefully that's better. All right. You can see our folds. It's our lines. So what do we do first? First we find a friend. We find a partner to game with and then we make a squiggle. What's a squiggle look like? Well don't think about it too much because you're not trying to think of a picture. You just kind of give one of these and one of those and maybe some of that. And there you go hand it to the next person. They'll bring it. They'll hand you a paper. You could do two at once. They're doing a squiggle while you're doing a squiggle and then you pass it back and forth, exchange papers and then draw. That way one person's not waiting for the other. Otherwise, if you're on a long car trip and you've just got one clipboard or one piece of paper, it's fine. You just look out the window and wait patiently till the other person's finished drawing. And when they're finished drawing, they'll make a squiggle for you. So there's only really one rule for squiggles, what you want to avoid. What you don't want to do is do a squiggle like this. Ah, squiggle. Because these lines you can see you kind of make into stuff, those shapes. But once a line crosses over itself, then it's really hard to make it into a two-dimensional object or a three-dimensional object or a cartoon character. I mean, this, I mean, what are you going to do? It's like, well, another tumbleweed or maybe a bird's nest. I don't know if it much looks like a bird's nest, but you could, yeah, I don't know, do that. But what you'd rather not do is have crossing lines that cross a bunch of times. You can do a wavy line. You could do a line that crosses like this. I hope they just don't make that into tic-tac-toe. They can make it into something else, but, uh, you know, you could do circles, you could do a shape, you could do some fuzz, some hair, some grass. So it's up to, up to them to figure out what to make out of that. 
This might be pretty tricky for a first time, someone's first time playing. If it's really their first time, you might just want to do a little something like that. You know, leave it open for them. So, when things get more advanced, if you've played for a while and you want to start, you know, throwing a couple little curveballs, you could even do something crazy like this, or this is something I always like to do, do a little word bubble. So now they have to think of some kind of character has to be here and they have to say something. Or you could even do part of, you could even do a little word or something like that. Wow. Look, I just broke my own rule. I just squiggle that went over itself. That wasn't right. So it's up to them to figure out what to make this into. All right. So I think you get the basic rules of squiggle and you can put your initial or put your name on, on each square to say who did which drawing and keep track. So my kids made for me a few squiggles. I don't know which one is which. I only have two kids, so I don't know why I have three papers, but I had one did one twice. So let's see. Let's put Mr. Reserve to the test. All right. So we have some kind of Humpty Humpty thing here, a circle and, hmm, I don't know. I think maybe, I think maybe uh, doing these. So you can look at things as positive space or negative space. And, you know, are these teeth coming down and this is open air or is this something bumpy? Like, are you could match this shape on the other side. It could be like a twisty a balloon or something like that. Um, or it could be like wind. It could be something coming out of there. And this is something low. You could be looking down on something. Is this a circle from the top view or is it a circle from the side view? I think... I think I'm going to use these. These say to me an outstretched arm, so I think I'm going to make this into a ghost. There's a ghost's arms are kind of going like that, and there's the ghost's head. And he's going, woo! And this is him just saying, boo! And the wavy lines are just, maybe he's got stinky breath too. No. Ooh. There we go. And this is this of course is the moon. Maybe a couple of bats flying past the moon. There we go. Or some clouds. Yeah, it's hard to do clouds there. Alright, so I don't want to draw over their lines. I would strengthen those lines, but I don't want to draw over um, the existing lines. So Boo. Who says boo without an exclamation point? I ask you. All right, next up. Let's see. Oops, I forgot. Then it, then it was my turn to make a squiggle if they were really here playing. Okay. This person did it in the wrong spot, but maybe it's maybe we're going vertically. We're going portrait style. Okay, we got another circle with some kind of jiggy jog coming out of it and a rectangle. I don't know. This kind of looked like a mad scientist equipment, like a beaker with weird tubes or something. Um, or, what else could it be? You know, sometimes you see one thing and you don't know how to see something else. It could be a weird a wheel of a car. Or a wheel of a very strange bicycle. Somebody on a unicycle. Uh, I think maybe it's like a giant box uh, they're trying to carry. Okay. Let's make it a tricycle. So here's one wheel. There's the other wheel. And it's kind of funky shape like this. Headlight. And that's where the handlebars are. This is some little platform where... Um, okay. So this could be the shape of whoever's riding it. <laughs> Another ghost! Is it a ghost riding a delivery bicycle? Hmm. Oh, I think maybe it's like a big dinosaur. It's like a big mouth. Da -da 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 -da. There's his tail sticking up behind there. It's got little feet on the pedals. And arms on the handlebars. Gotta fake that in. 
It's the delivery alligator. He should have a little delivery hat, something on, like that. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so his feet are on the pedals, and then the rest of the bicycle is somewhere in here. Tricycle, I should say. Kind of comes down like that. There's the ground. It's on. This is supported there. Um, oh, maybe it's like a huge stack of pizzas. Pizza delivery. A lot of people getting delivery food right now. All right, big stack of pizzas. Maybe that's what he's saying. Pizza dinosaur. As one shouts. Okay, let's do some spokes on the wheel. Make it a little more bicycle-y looking. Actually, it should have a tire too, huh? Don't retire before you tire. Do, 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 do. I'll shade in that tire entirely. Do, do, do. So, there you go. Not, a, not the most amazing thing I've ever drawn, but you get it, and it's fun. Oh, yes, then I make a squiggle and give it back to my daughter. Uh huh. Let's see what she thinks of that. All right. Last one from my son. Okay. So, what do we see? Hmm. Yeah, somebody going off of a cliff. It could be a big blobby hand. Hmm, let's see. I feel like I'm always doing hands and mouths. That's a little dot. It could be a fly. It could be a fly going towards... It could be a bee going towards a flower, something like that. Yeah, let's do the bee. All right, so I'm going to elongate this. So I can put stripes on it. Stripey. Stripey. Wings. Some legs. A little stinger. A lot of times in a cartoon you might go new, 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 new. To show where the bug was flying from. And so this could be the beehive or it could be the flower. I think maybe it's the hive. Maybe we're close up on one of those lumpy cone looking hives. Mm -hmm. There's another bee coming out right here. I'll draw this one with the same style. Filled in head. Stripes. And then that hole continues. Oh. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Let's show the thickness of the hole on the inside. So he's coming out of there. Stinger. Meow, meow, meow. And then, I don't know if I've ever seen a beehive like this, but in cartoons they were always kind of like made out of layers. It's kind of a strange angle, kind of an angle down. Like this is really what's up and down. Mm. This is kind of the surface it's sitting on. Hmm, maybe a table leg. Five on the table. Well, that's not very funny. Well, they're not all funny, I guess, but it's kind of cute. Maybe we could do a little joke. Hi, honey. I'm home. Get it? Because it's a B. All right. Why am I always doing circles? How about a triangle? Let's see what my son thinks of that. And some hair or stripes or something like that. All right. Hmm. I should make them draw something. We'll see. Hmm. Well, here's what my daughter made of my squiggle. She preferred to work off camera, but it's cute. Like mama bird and a little bird picking up 
dead worms after the uh, rainstorm or something, find the puddles. Maybe uh, Mama's teaching baby how to, here's how to find worms. All right, and then she gave me this squiggle. I almost see another bird face, but I gotta do something different. Hmm. Hmm. Mouth. I'm always tempted to make these open mouths. It kind of looks like a mouth. What could those be? It could be two eyes. It could be two tunnels. It could be a seagull flying. It could just be two round things next to each other. I kind of like that. I kind of like, uh, I like two little weird little creatures at the, uh, two little creatures at the sushi bar. Maybe it's one of those conveyor belt sushi places. I don't know if you've ever been there, but sometimes they have little plates are on a little track. We'll pretend that this track has arrows on it. And they go sliding by, and if you want to eat something, you just pick it up and keep track of your plates. That's one plate. There's another plate that's got some weird cube on it. I'm kind of going over the line a little bit there, huh? So, do, do, do. so here are the two little creatures. Maybe there's a the rail there. I think they're just watching. They're just. This one's gone. And yummy. Look at his tongue up. Mmm, at the sushi bar. The sushi boat. They call them, really. Mm hmm. Two little creatures. Let's pretend this is on a sign in the background. Mm-hmm. Here, this one's drooling a little. Ooh. Drool. All right. There we go. All right. Now something. Before I pass it back. Let's see here. It's going to do part of, like, a box, kind of. And then, hmm, curly cues are difficult. Let's just do kind of a free form. Weird shape like that, kind of a circle, circle thing. All right, let's see if I can get her to come draw. I'll give it to her. Well, here's what she drew, she drew. Looks like an alien kitty cat enjoying her lunch. All right, it's a good tip. If there's ever something weird, just to make it an alien or a monster. Because, you know, there's no set rules on how a, an odd alien or a weird monster looks. Make it a monster. All right, here we go. A complete game of squiggles. Something you can do when you're stuck and you want to play a game. You don't have a game board or playing cards or if your parents say, hey, stop watching TV for a minute, do something else. Okay, let's do squiggles. So, if you want to draw smaller, or you get it paper. If you want to do smaller pictures, you can divide this into six, and uh, you would do what they call a letter fold. Now, you kids probably haven't even received letters, but when your parents get bills, they're folded kind of like this. Fold both sides together and try and make them even. Basically, try and fold it over so that this side is about the same as that. And then you can fold it one more time. Cover. Oops, I didn't do it quite right, but that's okay. Some will be a little different. Now. So that's if you were going to send a letter, that's how you would fit it in an envelope. So here it looks like this one's a little smaller than those two. but. It's okay, because once you divide it in half, then everybody has a small rectangle to draw in and too large, because it goes 
me and her and me and her and me and her. So it's all spread evenly. So there you go. Six, or if you're doing a three-player game, it works with however many people. So there you go. Something to do when you're inside and you want to draw, but you don't know what to draw because you never thought you'd draw two monsters going to sushi or a weird alien cat eating their lunch or birds eating worms or a delivery pizza dragon monster. Anyway, well, there you have it. A full game of squiggles. Somehow all kind of food related. Food related. The worms are food for the birds. Anyway, try it. You'll like it. Have fun. Draw squiggles.